Hello there, Bridgeway. My name is Dante, and I'm so happy to be here. This is our revival of the segment called Out of the Cupboard. So back in my student ministries days, we used to do a web show called Afternoon Snack, and we had a little cooking segment in that web show that we would show kids how, do you can make, uh, how you can make snacks just with some food item, items that are kind of always in your cupboard, always in your fridge at home. We titled that Out of the Cupboard. And now this segment here, we're reviving that name and calling it Out of the cu Cupboard because I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare quick, easy, delicious meals with food ingredients provided from our, our community cupboard here at Bridgeway. We know that our community cupboard feeds hundreds of families uh, every single week. And so we wanted to bring some attention and some love and some, and some highlights to our awesome community cupboard to show you what kind of awesome ing ingredients you can get your hands on, okay? So this past Sunday, I visited our community cupboard and I just um, was there to check out what they have because I knew this segment was coming up and I was able to find some, uh, some fresh uh, onions. They had some, some biscuit dough. Um, there was some pre-cooked rotisserie chicken, some canned vegetables, and I saw this little carton of McCormick chicken gravy. And so I thought, these are all the makings for a delicious chicken pot pie. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make right now. All right, so we're gonna get started and I'm gonna just turn my heat on and get ready to sweat these onions down. Um, so we've got one yellow onion. It's gonna go in half. And we're gonna go to like a medium, small dice of our onion. Off. All right, now I'm gonna go down with a couple of tablespoons of canola oil. If you got canola oil or vegetable oil, that'll work just fine. And we're just gonna sweat these onions down. When you add some salt to onions, it'll help draw out the moisture. I'm also gonna throw some, some pepper down. We're gonna season and layer, season as we go. We got some, uh, some pre-cooked rotisserie style chicken. And I'm just gonna chop this up into um, smaller bite-sized pieces. I'm kind of always in the mood for a chicken pot pie, you know? Okay, so I'm happy with where our onions are. Those are caramelizing nicely, so they're nice and brown. So now I'm gonna throw in our chicken. And like I said, this chicken is pre-cooked but we're just gonna throw it in there so we can get it heated through and get it working. So just let those flavors marry together and then I'm gonna crack some fresh pepper, freshly cracked pepper in there. Like I said, we're seasoning in layers and then I got some dried thyme. Thyme goes really well with chicken, chicken and poultry. If you got other stuff at home, if you got some uh, crushed rosemary, some oregano, that'll go pretty well with this also. So I'm liking where this is, so now I'm gonna go with our vegetables. I'm gonna put about a quarter of a cup of each vegetable. So I got some green beans here. I've got some beautiful corn. I'm gonna add some sweetness. Gotta have peas in your pot pie. I don't like peas a lot, but it's like, you gotta have it in a pot pie. And then we got some amazing diced carrots here. I love all of the wonderful, diverse ingredients we have at our community cupboard. All right, so now we got our chicken gravy. And believe it or not, like I ripped off the recipe for this pot pie off the back of this carton. So that was two cups of chicken. Um, I just kind of eyeballed the vegetables. And then we're gonna put this whole container of chicken gravy. And also the moisture from the gravy is gonna help us get those beautifully caramelized brown bits off the bottom of the uh, cast iron skillet here. That looks like pot pie filling to me.
So our filling is done, and now I'm gonna go into our ramekins. And now, uh, the cupboard had this awesome Pillsbury biscuit dough, and this is like the, the flaky layer one. And so I'm gonna open this up, kind of break the layers apart, and like put little stacks on top of our prepared ramekins, and then throw that in our air fryer to bake. All right, so we got our ramekins here. We're gonna go right in. Man, this smells so good. We're gonna go most of the way up. I don't know about you, this used to be fun as a kid. As an adult, this scares me now. Of course it didn't do it. Oh! All right, so I'm gonna just peel this in half. One, two, three. Just to cover the top nicely. And these are gonna go into our preheated air fryer. Now, all an air fryer is, is a convection oven. Didn't know if you knew that or not. So, um, your oven at home will work just fine. I have this preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna go in for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, so, we'll see you in a sec. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow, sorry. Yeah. Now we have delicious chicken pot pie. That came out way better than I thought it was gonna come out. All right, so one of the things I hate is when I watch a cooking video on YouTube or a cooking show and they cook the food and then they don't eat it. So we're gonna dig in here. Cause I actually haven't even eaten today yet. So I'm gonna go in. Here we go. Try not burn my face off. <laughs> that is so good. I'm not just saying this. That might be one of the best pot pies I've ever had in my life. And I'm not, I, I swear I'm not just saying that. Hmm, my goodness. This is from our community cupboard. So listen. We always said uh, we want to spiritually feed you here at Bridgeway, but also we want to feed you physically as well. So listen, if you've come to a church service here or if you visit our campus, uh, any one of our campuses on a Saturday, please get information, bridgeway.cc for more information about our cupboard hours. Our community cupboard is open every Sunday after church. We do not want you to, uh, to leave this building um, hungry. And so please visit our community cupboard if you and your family are in need. I'm gonna get back to this chicken pot pie because I'm hungry. We'll see you next time for our next installment of Out of the Cupboard. Tori, come get some of this.